this is one of my favorite uh, spots to take my dogs for a walk. We're coming here about 14 years. It's never been the same twice. It's just beautiful. It's home. It's where I feel safe. It's where I'm raising my children. And I'm lucky because he affords me the ability to share that excitement with other people, inspire them to also join the journey. So I can see the opportunities and the possibilities. There's an African saying that we are who we are and what we are because of others. As I've been going to people's houses, I've been completely and utterly blown away. Proud. To me, Mickey, this was honestly to me and my family, it was life changing. I can truly no, no, say that. No, it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure. They call us master farmers. So what we do, we go out, do some home visits, and we help people um, setting up. Then we come with the container, with plants, with compost, everything, and we just help set up that person. Just to start up, you know, and just that kick to start up. And um, afterwards, we do like a follow-up visit. Like I said from the beginning, I have the passion, but not the knowledge. So, in a sense, master farmers, like just helping other members. I've given to family and friends of the spinach and brinjals and it's just been growing all the time. I may not have money, but I know I will always have spinach during winter. <laughs> Come out of the kitchen into the garden and just, pick things yeah. and voila yeah. in the pot. I can relate to that, yeah. Just the thing we started that, there was nothing. Now the Food Freedom Project is really digging into people's homes. Um, it's starting to create um, opportunities for, for, for people to start trading and interacting with each other with their neighbours to encourage positive relationships. This is my neighbour, um, Lydia Faustman. We started the Community Garden Project together. We wanted to make a combination of beautifying the community uh, garden but, and also planting vegetables. We needed to plant veggies so that some of the time this children will go to bed with bread. Yeah, the Community Garden will launch officially on the 24th of September 2013. And when I look at the registration form, we actually had 64 volunteers. Everybody was busy planting and I'm telling you the community came out in full force. Yeah. Adults and children. But their own utensils as well. And it was it was a good feeling. Uh, the most important thing for me has been finding that that recon reconnection to the land. Just the knowledge that the people still struggling and not able to feed themselves. It's given me a new impetus in terms of what I'm doing with Seed, what I'm doing with the Food Freedom Project. When I did the um, IPT course, the permaculture course, that opened my mind to different aspects of planting, of the earth, of everything else. And it transformed me in a sense that I'm more active, um, I'm more aware. What Seed is doing now and reaching out to people will transform yeah. that into something much bigger. So for me it's not just about teaching somebody how to, to grow a garden. We're making people aware of the fact that there is strength in each one of us. And that combined, we would definitely be able to affect positive, positive change.